Bacteria. They're all around us and inside of us, and they come in all shapes and sizes. Scientists classify bacteria based on features like their shapes. Bacteria can be spherical, rod-shaped, or even spiral-shaped. Like plant cells, bacteria have cell walls to protect and support their cell membranes. These cell walls are what give the bacteria their shapes. But something weird happened almost a hundred years ago that told us this isn't always true. Emmy Klinaberger Nobel was a German microbiologist from the early 20th century. In the early 1930s, she had to leave the country because of her Jewish ancestry, so she found a research position in London. In 1935, she discovered some interesting strains of bacteria that completely lacked a cell wall, and named them L-form bacteria after the Lister Institute where she worked. It only takes one or two mutations in a few genes to grow L-form bacteria in a lab. They're spherical and squishy since they don't have a cell wall to give them a shape. Bacteria normally use their cell walls during binary fission, which is when they reproduce by dividing in two. But L-form bacteria can't perform binary fission since they don't have that cell wall, so they have a messier way of budding off new cells that sometimes ends up with one cell bigger than the others. Some researchers have suggested that L-form bacteria could be pathogenic. That means that they can cause disease. Other pathogenic things might include viruses and other bacteria. Since antibiotics normally kill bacteria by damaging their cell walls, L-form bacteria could be resistant to many antibiotics since they don't have any cell walls to damage. Other researchers say that since the very first cells probably didn't have a cell wall, the study of L-form bacteria could hold the key to discovering how life originated on Earth and what it really means to be alive.